Hey everyone, Creativeness here and today we will create a personal CV template in Microsoft Word and on a screen you can have a look and it's a really beautiful template. So in this template we have covered name, designation, profile, expertise, job experience, education and technical proficiency. So every data here uh, that I have presented here is dummy so of course you can use this template to fill the information as per requirement as per choice so you can create multiple pages document you can add portfolio as well so to start with the tutorial first of all you have to adjust the ruler make sure the pointers are edge to edge and there are no margins then insert this square shape here and fit it like this remove its outline and we will fill a nice and beautiful gradient color and you know how to fill the gradient color so here are two gradient stops on the first gradient stop we have added red color on the second gradient stop we have added a vibrant blue color so now you can see a nice gradient here and we will use this area to add profile picture and name area of expertise technical proficiency and contact information now let's insert few icons here so I'm just adding a dummy icon here basically you have to add picture here of your picture a nice corporate look a nice selfie here now let's insert a text box and you can use this text box to fill any information you want so we will write name here let's remove its outline change text and shape fill to no fill and let's write the name here the first and last name change the font color to white uh, I'm using monster red font here and it's a free font you can download it from Google fonts so I personally like this font very much when it comes to adding content uh, on corporate presentations or documents this font this font looks really nice now let's create one more hollow circle here double borders slightly increase the width there and change fill to no fill and only keep outline now insert a small line here and add white color make sure it is at the center you can use the align function to align things here so till now, uh, the, uh, I mean every step that we have followed is pretty easy. So now let's again duplicate the name text box and we will write web developer here, web designer or anything as per your requirement. Now duplicate this gradient shape, we will add a nice picture. So I've already downloaded downloaded an image from pexels.com so I'm gonna fit that image here let's change the offset left values so that the image doesn't look stretched now we will place it behind this left shape here and we will increase the transparency of the gradient colors so that 
the background is visible now again duplicate the text box or you can insert a new text box but we have to use the same formatting so that's why i duplicate the text box now write profile here so here we want to we would like to add here uh, contact information and some introduction about the profile so that's why i've written profile here but you can also write like about me or anything if you are a content writer then that's an add-on because you know how to write a CV so I've put your introduction in the form of dummy text I have made it justified it's really fun to create such documents such presentations where everything you know needs to be well aligned you have to apply your imagination your creativity to create beautiful documents so I really like uh, the way Microsoft ha has created these tools and these are not complex these are very easy tools and the output is as good as any other creative tool out there so now I have added a nice you know contact information here with the help of icons icons look really nice now we have duplicated another text box here so that we can reuse it for another heading here and the heading that we will write here is technical expertise and you can change the icon which is related to technical expertise So I would request you to you know watch the video till the end so that you learn uh, how to create beautiful documents in PowerPoint and this is not about CVs only you can use this concept to create any document you want in a very beautiful manner so now in technical proficiency we will add few icons but before that I'm aligning these icons in a straight line from top to bottom so you know how to align the icons here you have to keep them in straight line then select all these icons then go to align and select align center and distribute vertically so you have to select all these icons here So WordDoc is not as user as user friendly as PowerPoint is because PowerPoint is more focused toward designing the things and Word document is more you know, towards presenting the text information. So you might not find few tools here like merge shapes option. So you can add skill levels here like you are proficient in Java, C++, you know, Kotlin or uh, all the technical languages you want to add. So that's how you can add the items here. So now we will add job experience here. For that we are creating a placeholder for the title job experience. 
so we have inserted this rectangular bar applied the same gradient color so now we have to insert another shape here to support the icon we will remove its fill we don't want any color other than white on this circle soft alignment is done fill white color and change the solid line to gray i think we can change it to gradient color we can change its line to gradient color so we will do it first i am adding text here so i have duplicated the profile text here and we will change the text to job experience or you can write experience only so let's change it to gradient line so we will fill the gradient color we will only need only, uh, two stops here on the one first gradient stop we have filled red and on the other we have filled the same blue color as you can see on the template now we have duplicated this circle here let's place it here and we will write experience let's duplicate this shape again here and we will fill gray color light gray color first send it to back select select fill and fill a nice gray color here and we will use this to write uh, date range like you have worked in your company from 2017 to 2019 like this so we have duplicated the text box and now we will change its text like 2017 to 2019 Let's slightly reduce the width here, it's too much. So now it's done. As I told you, like Word document is different than presentation when it comes to designing the things. So you have to be very careful here when aligning the items. So in PowerPoint, it, it is very easy to align everything, but in document, you might take some time to, you know, focus on things and, but when you will practice, you will create few documents, then you, then you can easily create such, you know, designs in Microsoft Word. So I've written a company name here. Now let's add the designation as well. So we will duplicate the same and we will use it again. So you know, template designing is very easy. All you need to do is just reuse all the components. If you will uh, create each component again and again for the same kind of formatting, then you will waste your time. Just reuse the components and only fill the information. Now let's write here what you did in that company as a senior design strategist. So uh, I have filled a uh, dummy information here. Now reduce the size. So most of the time goes into you know aligning the things. Rest you what you have to do is you just have to place the information. It's that easy. So I'm just aligning the things. Now I just uh, I think we should create this gradient looking line here. 
so we have inserted a rounded corner rectangle and we've reduced its width and filled the same gradient color and increase its height so it will so it will be like a, you know margin or you can say uh, a support for the placeholders for job experience and educational qualifications that we are adding so now duplicate it and place it here so again we have reused all the components now we just have to t change the information here that's all now again select all these items so what you can also do is group all these items together for that you have to select each and every component here like these five components and group now we have first group is ready and similarly second group now just have to copy and paste to create n number of items so till now you have understood like how to create such uh, components of uh, i mean text components you can group different items then you can create i mean you can place these uh, text items uh, with just drag and drop and then just align these components and your document is ready also what else you can do is you know to make things easier for you and this is really a nice idea and you must try that i've done in the beginning uh, such kind of things when i started creating documents when i joined you know when i entered the it field so what you can do is take a paper and start drawing with the help of pen you can create wireframes so when it's done just draw the similar shapes on a word document in microsoft word and you will find it really easy and you will get so much of ideas and when you know your document will be finished you will be proud of yourself like you have achieved it and you have created such a beautiful document so and this is not limited to cvs only cv is just you know a, a topic like i took it as a topic but you can create this template for any document where you can present some information on the left and key content on the right uh, you can create analytical reports as well where you can present information on the left and charts on the right so there are no limitations in creativity so our document is almost complete and once it's done you just have make sure that everything is well aligned so now you can see our document is ready i hope you like this video please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit the like button hit the bell icon and please download this template from the g drive link given in the video description so i would like to thank you everyone for being a part of our creative venus community so thank you everyone have a nice day and enjoy the videos make sure you watch these videos till the end bye bye